Marie Antoinette, The Portrait of an Average Woman, by Stefan Zweig is a compelling exploration of the life and character of one of history's most infamous queens. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, Zweig paints a nuanced picture of Marie Antoinette, challenging popular misconceptions and presenting her as a complex, multidimensional figure. Zweig begins the biography by examining Marie Antoinette's upbringing in the Habsburg court of Austria. He highlights her sheltered and indulgent childhood, which shaped her worldview and prepared her poorly for the challenges she would face as the Queen of France. Her formative years, filled with extravagance and ignorance of political realities, laid the groundwork for the disastrous choices she would make later in life. The author delves into Marie Antoinette's marriage to Louis XVI, emphasizing the profound influence it had on her character and actions. Zweig portrays their relationship as one built on genuine affection and intimacy, dispelling the notion of a loveless marriage. Marie Antoinette's role as a wife and mother becomes a central theme, as Zweig analyzes the immense pressures she faced to produce an heir and secure the stability of the monarchy. Zweig's narrative shifts to the political and social climate of France during Marie Antoinette's reign, providing historical context for the events that unfolded. He emphasizes the growing discontent among the French people, who saw the queen as a symbol of excess and extravagance while they suffered in poverty. Zweig skillfully captures the tension and animosity directed towards Marie Antoinette, illuminating the gradual erosion of her public image and the eventual eruption of the French Revolution. Central to Zweig's analysis is his exploration of Marie Antoinette's personality. He presents her as a woman of contradictions, torn between her innate compassion and her desire for pleasure and luxury. Zweig argues that Marie Antoinette's downfall was not solely due to her own character flaws but also a result of the rigid social structures and expectations of her time. He highlights her attempts to carve out a meaningful role for herself within the constraints of her position, often meeting with resistance and scorn from the French court. Zweig does not shy away from the darker aspects of Marie Antoinette's story, particularly her alleged infidelity and political intrigues. However, he humanizes her by exploring the psychological and emotional factors that may have contributed to her actions. He suggests that her actions were not solely driven by malicious intent but were also a product of her personal struggles and the tumultuous world in which she lived. Throughout the biography, Zweig's prose is vivid and evocative, capturing the essence of Marie Antoinette's world. His meticulous attention to historical detail and his ability to delve into the psyche of his subject make for a compelling read. Zweig's narrative style is both informative and empathetic, inviting the reader to reevaluate their preconceived notions about Marie Antoinette and view her as a flawed but relatable individual. In conclusion, Marie Antoinette, The Portrait of an Average Woman, is a captivating literary analysis that humanizes one of history's most vilified figures. Stefan Zweig's nuanced approach challenges popular misconceptions and provides a deeper understanding of Marie Antoinette's life, character, and the complex circumstances that led to her tragic fate.